Good afternoon people, PJT rate my beer, the infamous M, just in case you don't know, I do hope you like the new Pineapple Bud Light shirts, uh, thinking of a certain ponderer, yeah. these are top draw, these are even better than the one I wore last night, Very colourful. anyway, as you'll have seen, you're probably wondering what this is all about, but from Especially the thumbnail, so <laughs> yeah. there, from the thumbnail, Pretend you obviously it's to do with Wiz Air and um, what we well what we've done, and I'm doing this video basically rather than explaining to everyone because I'll be there typing in and talking consistently, so it's much easier to do this, and it also gives people that follow the channel an indication of where we're going and where we're at with the channel, doesn't it? Yeah. Because um, obviously the game changed again today, didn't it? it Which is it. anyway um, on Wednesday, I had. Um, I saw this Wizz Air thing, or oh, you can fly, and I thought, oh, I love some of that. Uh, Michelle got the sulks and wouldn't speak to me, so I had to create another account for her, because it's one person, one account, and I basically persisted, and for four and a half hours it took me. I thought he was mad, I thought, what is he doing? You know, just sitting there, clicking around the computer, it doesn't work, I've given up, long okay. before. I got to the credit card bit, I got to the other bit, and everything. Anyway, in the end, we paid, basically, it worked out £429 each for a year's flying so um there's a thing on the bbc i'll probably try and put a link in it to mm -hmm. this we you know is it good value is it that but to make it good value because a lot of you know wizz air is cheap in a way like we're going wizz air in a few weeks time which is gutter now isn't it yeah but, it's now, but basically now, that only cost us 113 pound for both of us but obviously one thing we're going to do with this with these trips is we're going to do it as budget as possible to which everywhere means we go. you've got an under sleep bag only. <laughs> which for me, a six foot and not exactly slim gym, is going to be um, somewhat difficult. But that's part of it. And obviously, when we go to the different places, we're also going to keep them as low as possible. So it's, it's manageable and affordable to others, not staying in the bloody Ritz, because I'm not no boo, everyone. <laughs> you know, a man yeah, who I'm drank sure a certain lot. I'm, I'm sure we're going to have some experiences <laughs> with our accommodation on these trips. And so, as a lot of you know, I do book some classics. So the idea is, if you're not subscribed already, do subscribe, because there's going to be some mad journeys. Anyway, what we basically earmarked beforehand, and did not go on about my pronunciations before we already <laughs> go, and you know what I'm like, everyone else, was um, Dalamat. This is from Luton. So these are the targets. This is 12 places from Luton. A few we've been to, but most of them we haven't. So it was Dalaman, Turkey, Bratislava, Slovakia, Bucharest, Romania, Lisbon, Portugal, that's one we've been to before, Jangsak, Portugal, I don't know, um, oh, Poland, sorry, uh, Kanuas, Lithuania, Rajavik, Iceland, but we've been that off now because for some reason, a lot of you know Rami, absolute legend, <laughs> Rami and Mivi. I keep thinking it comes from Iceland, not Finland. So we'll probably knock that one off the off the off the list there. Iceland's expensive. Um, yeah, we spent a lot of money at the airport there once. Uh, Grenoble, France, Prague, Czech Republic. That's another one we've been to. Split, Croatia, Salzburg, Austria, which is one we've been to as well, and Tirana, Albania. So they're the twelve or well, eleven, if you take away Iceland, that we're intending to try and do from Luton. Then from Gatwick, we've got Vienna, Austria. Varnana, Bulgaria, La, 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 Summit, Cyprus, Budapest, Hungary, Hungary uh, Faro, Portugal, so we can go and see my mate as yeah. well, and Malaga, Spain. So basically, we've got 11, 2, 4, 6, 17 destinations. Obviously, it'll be hard pushed to do them, but we only have to pay basically 9 euros each flight. Yeah. It's like a booking fee. So we remember, remember we've already paid the 430 or 429. As it was and everything but you've got to do as many as possible to try and break halfway even uh, and then um the thing was this morning when i was reading the bbc article i realized that you can fly to all dives yeah and I'm like, which is something i never knew we didn't know this till this morning so i'm like oh my god because obviously then i can go across on air asia air so, asia is the asian sort of equivalent of the budget of Wizard, flights, yeah. yeah so basically you fly from the uk to Budapest, you fly from Budapest to Abu Dhabi, you fly from Abu Dhabi to Maldives, 
Mm -hmm. Don't drive wherever you call it, you know, you can go yeah. there. <laughs> and then you go from Mogdorf to Kuala Lumpur, Kuala Lumpur to Ho Chi Minh City and Ho Chi Minh City to Phuket. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do to see Richard yeah. and Rami. That's how much I think of them. Yeah. So there you go. We are seriously going to attempt that. That is going to be but, some journey. Yeah, but bar, rather than the 800 quid each last time, to get as far as the Maldives is only costing us £27 each. It's and Air mad. Asia, you can you can get some really good deals and flights with them. So literally, you get getting the other side yeah. of the world doing all them flights. It'll cost us probably about a couple of hundred each. Yeah. Depending on what way we go once we're there, obviously. But we'll keep everyone informed of the cost of everything. And I mean, hopefully, we're going to try and badge your whiz there, aren't we? <laughs> That's on. Yeah. You know, say, so look, this is going to work for you. It works for us, which might be good for everyone else. But I say the idea is that we get to as many of these destinations and then we at least want to do one Asia trip, possibly two, isn't it? Yeah, so basically you're sorting out the flights, aren't you? And oh, I'm going to look for oh, wait. reasonable accommodation. No, not reasonable, cheap. <laughs> it's budget. <laughs> cheap? Yes, I can do cheap. But it's still got to be reasonably... Okay. No, she just wants a carsy because she gets the, um, you know... <laughs> I don't like shared bathrooms. She don't like shared bathrooms. <laughs> I know, I'll um, stay in the dormitory, me, because I'm the one who snores the most. I'll drive them all mad. <laughs> yeah, you would. Uh, shared bathrooms aren't my thing, and unless we really, really have to, we won't do that. But it will be uh, budget accommodation. Yeah, obviously, I mean, if we do the whole journey, by the time we get there, the first thing we have to do is wash all our clothes. It's like, but that's all part of the fun. And it, it gives the channel something extra. You know, you're going to see a lot of different destinations. It's not just going to be us going in the pubs because obviously to, to do all this we've got to cut down a little bit as we yeah. kind of know don't we because um obviously yeah it's all right you've only got to pay nine euros nine nine pounds each ten euros but you've also got the car parking the fuel to yes. get there and there's there are hidden expenses the expense so when you get there we're going to try and keep all that as low as possible but yeah that, that's the, the the general idea of it is right to obviously cut every corner we possibly can and in the meantime, hopefully there'll be some fun videos, there'll be a few mad lives. Yeah. Rattling in the hotel room, thinking of how much we've spent. <laughs> <laughs> At least in Fuku Island, you can go out, because it's cheap. You can, yeah. I don't know about them all times, but we did always want to go there, and we so many times nearly did it, and I bottled it because of the extreme prices, but we will obviously have to stay there, because if you're going all the way in, when you never I'll stay somewhere, still, we'll find something. Out, um, but, I might just do something different there, but we'll see about that. But I say, that's where we're going with the channel. So, um, obviously, as a lot of you already know, we're away um, in a few weeks' time in, I can't even remember where we're going, Pudov, 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 something? Yeah. Yeah, in Bulgaria, which, as I said earlier in the video, cost us £113 between us. And then we're literally back in England for four days, and we go and fly to um, Vietnam. Yeah, and, and Vietnam, Nam we're going Chang. to Na Trang, Na Trang, Na Trang, yeah. Na, Na Trang sorry, uh, which we've never been before. It's totally the opposite side to Fuku Island, and we got a hotel there for seven pounds a night. And we, we with the hotel and the flights, so we're literally away fifteen days, aren't we? Mm -hmm. it costs less than a thousand pound, which is absolutely phenomenal because, like I say, last time it was eight hundred quid each. Yeah, and that's standard now yeah that that is kind of a standard price so to do it and for the money yeah. that we have it's um it's, it's good. obviously we wouldn't had we known that we were getting this we wouldn't have done these trips two, but, but it's done and we were going to do more from not at nartrang and do more traveling but obviously now we're doing this we better um, slow down a little bit because, as I say, I don't have Mr. Boo's money. <laughs> Unfortunately not. So yeah, it's um, it's a case of going and seeing and doing as much as we can on a budget. Yeah. So as I say, it will be interesting because you will see all these different places. You know, so they're, they're just random ones that I mm. pick. The, the, you know, things can change. Because obviously, it's all right picking all this out, but it depends on the flight availability. Yeah. Because obviously, if the flights are full. We can't get on them, and you have to book off that phone. I have to book off the other yeah. phone because you can't do it together or anything, which does make it somewhat confusing. And I do see people's point, but for me, a free for all ticket for 430 quid for the year and only 
ten pounds a throw is absolutely crazy. And that's, isn't it? Yeah. It's like wow, here we go. So yeah, we're really looking forward to it. And as I say, we'll bring lots to the channel. So there'll be lots of live. Yeah. Don't know if there'll be that many <laughs> drunken ones and angels singing, but At some of the places that you could get really, really cheap beer. In Breeder some of those. Pest, cheap beer. Um. So. Yeah, oh. we'd be trying stuff out. Doing and there's another things. one as well I've missed out. There's another place in, in Hungary as well. For some reason, I didn't write that one down. So we'll take that instead of Iceland. Yeah. The, which we almost went to before, but the flight was coming in at one in the morning. But but yeah, that's basically where we're going. So that's a pretty good summer, isn't it? Rather yeah. than me gabbling on and on so. and on and on and doing everyone's head in. And I will take the Bud Light Pineapple Pondering shirt. She probably won't. <laughs> I do doubt it. And this is the shirt for pondering. Yeah, it is. What can I Look say? Look at those pineapples, people. Look at them. Yeah. I, think... <laughs> <Just> the... <laughs> I was thinking in old Indian street. Yeah, I know. No, <laughs> so <it's> like... <laughs> Just no. But no. Anyway, and again, thank you, everyone, for your continued yeah, support. thank you. Seriously, you know, we try not to bore you with everything. We try and make it interesting. Um, the channel was going kind of not exactly great like if you go to check out Simo Sups my main man um, like he said with some of the beer videos now it's a niche market it's hard I went the other way and did all the shorts which has really brought serious traffic to the channel and that yeah. and now all the other videos are going high be higher than that, what they were because yeah the shorts have kind of helped and there's a lot more subscribers obviously they've been flying up at an alarming rate although it has slowed down a little bit now hasn't it but yeah. I've, I'm working on more shorts all the time, but a lot of them are not worth putting out because if no one watches it, then it all goes down again. So it's, I don't know, it's a bit of fun for me, isn't it? Yep, bit trial and error, seeing so, what works. <laughs> what can we say, as I say, if you're not subscribed, do subscribe and hopefully it's an enjoyable journey. What can I say? It'd be interesting. <laughs> it's Dankeschön. Thank as they, you very much. As they say in Rome. Bonjour. <laughs>